This next song was written by a gentleman who is right here on the stage, and he's one of my oldest and dearest friends, who brings a little piece of Manhattan with him everywhere he goes. He's a fine singer-songwriter and great guitar player, and uh, we're proud to have him out on tour with us. I first heard this song of his about eight years ago. We were down in the Yucatan, and he played this song for me in the morning on the beach, and we watched the waves crashing in, and Love this song. It was a great song. And later on that afternoon, we rented a motorcycle and we were just riding around on this motorcycle. It was 150 bajillion degrees outside and I fell off the back of it. And as I watched him disappear into the horizon, I always thought I would record this song. Yes, we did sit on the beach and yes, I did play the song uh, for the first time for her. And yes, she did like it. And yes, we did rent, well, she calls them motorcycles, but I mean, they were like 50cc mopeds. And, and no, she did not fall off the back of it. Mr. Frank Christian, back here on the guitar. And three flights up. We turn to that fire in the flag. Now it is empty, and this the last time they were making pictures of how we sit in jail. Some of them are scattered and shattered in my mind. It was always three flights of feet of us the time. In the wind. While the building shook like ragweed in the wind Stories from the heat pots were told Now they only leave me with a half a chin of grin It was always three flights Leave the bells kept time Bicycle squeezed down Was the only thing to do And I wonder if we care For the fair warning I can see it in the flowers Dying on a windowsill No, we must be Everybody my own morning but Am I going this round here? It was always Three flights in Deep about us back I started thinking of doing this album years ago just simply because the music industry had treated folk music so badly for the past 20 years and I felt like it had been a major influence upon myself and many artists. And that just became the, the 
the fire that shot this album into a project and full bone production and going to Jim Rooney and saying, hey, I would really like to do this tribute album to the songwriters who have influenced me and get this music heard. Uh, we feel it's important, it's part of our thing, is to pass this on to uh, a new generation of artists and an audience as well. Well, Jerry Jeff Walker's song, Morning Song for Sally, is a song that I think is every bit as, as special as Mr. Bojangles or many of the other songs that Jerry Jeff wrote in those early years and just deserved to be passed on. It had been overlooked. He had quit singing the song. And I loved that song. I would pull that album out of my shelf just to listen to Morning Song for Sally. Uh, I'd played it for a while, and then I'd kind of forgotten it when Nancy said she was doing an album of a lot of old songs that she'd liked. Uh, and she was doing that song. It kind of made me listen to it again. And uh, hearing her play it gave me a fresh approach to the song. And uh, it's been like uh, finding a new song again. Thanks, Nancy. Night Rider's Lament is another song that I learned from Jerry Jeff Walker, though Michael Burton actually wrote the song. Um, but it's the definitive campfire song, cowboy song. And when we recorded the album, we brought in Don Edwards to do the yodel. As far as I know, Jerry Jeff was the first guy to ever do the song. And then uh, it just sort of, the rest is history kind of thing, you know. But it has become, in, in, in cowboy music, it's, it's become one of the most popular songs. In fact, I. I consider it a you know modern day classic like the like the great old ballads of the you know the last century you know of course if you hadn't told somebody it was written in 1975 or six you know you'd think that thing was written in 1876 you know we, we did the song live in Dallas uh, last week and when Don Edwards started yodeling people in the audience came to their feet it stopped the show completely and it was almost like the national anthem we expected their hand to go up over their heart well Nancy's always been musical from the time she was about two years old. She's been musical. She hears things. Oh, she's got the hearing of a bat. You know, and the looks of an angel, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you can sit there and you can be playing all nice and one little clunker and she turn around and go. She never jumps on you, but she always gives you the she used to perform the little kid songs and things like that for my grandmother standing on an aluminum tub that they turned upside down on the patio at the house. And grandmother would just applaud and Nancy would do her thing and it was just great. They don't need to know about that, really, do they? Oh, she loves to write. She used to write poetry. She wrote her first song. I guess she was maybe about 12 when she put her first song to music with the guitar. It was called A New Generation. I met Carolyn Hester uh, for the first time when I was about 10 years old. And I had been eating cotton candy. And I had it just literally all over me. And my dad had warned me as we were moving through the line several times, he kept saying, do not touch Carolyn Hester <laughs> because you'll get cotton candy on her. And so by the time I got to the front of the line, I was so nervous about meeting this childhood idol, my, my hero, my vocal mentor, you know, um, that I was crying because I was so afraid something would happen. She would shake my hand, and then, you know, I'd be in trouble with my dad because I got cotton candy on Carolyn Hester after he told me not to touch her, you know. I met Nancy umpteen years ago when she was eight years old, about this time of year here in Austin. and. Uh, her daddy, Griff, came up, and they had my album, and I remember her very well, you know, and it's amazing to me. I meet a lot of people and forget, but I did remember uh, that because they had my record, I guess, and it was a Columbia record, and, and I signed it. And I think back on that day a lot of times and think about how 10 years ago Nancy and I went, it was like maybe the first time she went north of the Mason-Dixon line with her guitar, and the only place that would hire us because she was new and I'd been out of the business for 10 years, the only place that would hire us was Folk City. My, Midge and I, my wife, had come to hear Carolyn Hester uh, play at Gertie's Folk City about 10, 11 years ago. And it was the tour in which she took Nancy with her, uh, kind of introducing her around uh, the, the circuit, as they say. And, and uh, we got there late, so we missed Nancy's set. Carolyn was on stage, and she saw us come in. And about two-thirds of the way through her set, she invited me to come on, uh, up and sing uh, Can't Help But Wonder Where I'm Bound With Her. Now, she had learned the song from me. She had recorded it a few times, done it in a commercial. 
And uh, so I came up to sing the song with her, and Nancy uh, joined us as well. And you know, just kind of, how do you do? Nice to meet you as you're, as you're getting in front of a microphone. And I still hadn't heard her sing. And uh, Carolyn sang the first verse, and we all came in on the chorus. So the first time I heard Nancy sing was from about two feet away, and she about blew me off the stage. I said, this is some voice. <laughs> Well, it's a long and dusty road, it's a high and heavy load. Folks I meet ain't always gay. Some are bad, and some are good, and some have done the best they could. Some have tried these mad troubling men. And I can't help but wonder where I'm bound, where I'm bound. I can't help but wonder where I'm bound. Wandering around this land, just doing the best I can. Try to find what I was meant to do. And the people that I see look as blurred as can be. And it looks like they are wandering too. And I can't help but wonder where I'm bound, where I'm bound. I can't help but wonder where I'm bound. Yeah, one time she had lips like sherry wine Love me till my head went plumb insane But I was too blind to see She was drifting away from me and My good gal went off on the morning train And I can't Can help but wonder where I'm found Can't help but wonder, wonder where I'm Well, if you see me passing by, and hey, you said you wonder why, and you wish that you were rambling too, lay your shoes to the kitchen on the floor and lace them up and bar the door. Thank your stars for the roof that's over you. Cause I can't help but wonder where I'm bound or where I'm bound. Can't help but wonder where I'm I'd like to bring out the quintessential hero. Jerry Jeff, will you come join me? Thank you. So we're going to do morning song. Love to. Thank you for picking it up. It's always been my fave. As the morning light stretched in across my bed Thought of you mm -hmm. Remembering mm -hmm. your laughing eyes And always said I love you too mm -hmm. And 
mind is all my thoughts of you pass for my face a thousand times. The way they race my heart, I cannot say it all in line. Short time together lasts alone Makes me strong mm -hmm. As two weeks came and went And you and I were gone Living on mm -hmm. For it seems our love was destined To be caught But the love we held so brief I chance again without regret. Yes, we're standing by the road, it's been my song before. This is the definitive campfire folk song. It was written by a gentleman named Michael Burton. And we'd like to invite out onto the stage a gentleman who came and joined us in the studio when we made this album, the finest cowboy singer and yodeler in the world. Mr. Don Edwards, come join us. song, The Night Rider's Lament. As I was out around the graveyard ship midnight till dawn the moon was bright as a reading light for a letter from an old friend back home and he has to me what I do And why do you hope for sure thing? You ain't getting nowhere and you're losing your share. Oh, you might 
must have gone crazy out there. He said last night I ran into Jenny. Well, they've married and had a good life. Oh, you sure missed the track when you never came back. They made the perfect professional life. But she asked me, why do you ride for your money? And why do you hope for short pay? You ain't getting nowhere and you're losing your share. Oh, you must have gone crazy out there. But they've never seen the northern lights They've never seen a hawk on the wing They've never seen the spring hit the great divide And they never heard old Camp Cook yet sing Well, I read up the last of my letter And I tore off the stamp for Black Jim Well, little Dougie rode up to relieve me He just looked at my letter and grinned And he asked me, why do they write for the money? Why do they rope for short Ain't getting nowhere and they're losing their share Oh, they all must be crazy out there Cause they've never seen the northern lights They've never seen a hawk on the wing They've never seen the spring here My middle name is Caroline, and this is a song of Towns Van Zant's about a woman named Caroline. And I first heard this song when I was about 14 years old, and I always had this real endearment to this character that Towns Van Zant had written about named Caroline. And, and when I left home, I carried that character of Caroline around in my heart, and she was like my guardian angel for me. And I've always owed Towns Van Zandt a great debt for not, for just keeping me alive sometimes, keeping me from falling, because I always had that character of his, of Caroline, to lean on. She was there beside me everywhere I went. And we all knew characters like Caroline when we were young girls. And they were all reasons for us to keep our spines straight and our chins. So to Towns Van Sant, thank you very much. God bless Caroline. The name she gave was Caroline, the daughter of a miner. And her ways were free. 
And it seemed to me the sunshine walked beside you. She came from Spencer across the hill. She said her. As the goal was low, soon the snow would turn the skies to winter. She said she'd come to look for work, and she was now. For a damn a day and a place to stay, she turned those hands to labor. The times were hard, Lord, and the jobs were Saved enough to get back home in the spring, the place the winter. But her dreams were denied, her palm died. The word come down from Spencer. So she turned the corner out on the streets with all the lust inside her. And it was many a man returned again to lay himself beside her. In her hand when she died Was an old cry Fed the wind To go so far Name she gave was Caroline, the daughter of a man, and her ways were free, and it seemed to me the sunshine. I like every single cover ever that I've ever heard. It can be by three-year-olds who can't talk yet, or it can be winos who can't talk anymore. If it's a cover of mine, I tend to like it. But uh, that's the best cover.